Welcome to Open Box Education. In this video, I am going to explain about convolution and correlation process in digital image processing. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and share to your friends. So here it is the problem. Perform the convolution process for the image F, which is given as 0, 0, 2, 0, 0. It is of size 1 by 5 and we have to do the convolution process by using the mask or kernel or we can say that template it is given as 7 5 1 so this kernel is of size 1 by 3 so now we have to do that the convolution process so when you are doing that convolution process we have to rotate this kernel by 180 degrees so when you are rotating the kernel by 180 degrees so that you will get that the resultant kernel as 1 5 7 that is nothing but here actually the kernel is 7 5 1 but by rotating that 180 degrees you will get that 1 5 and 7 so now we will use this kernel to do the convolution process so before doing that convolution process so for the original image we have to add the zeros nothing but we will call that as a zero padding process so for this one based on the kernel size we have to add the zeros to the image left and right side so here the last value of this kernel will be aligned with that original image and here also in the right side the kernel value 1 is aligned with that original image so 0 0 2 0 0 is the original image f for these two values of the kernel we have to add zeros to this original image and here also for these two values we have to add the two zeros to this original image so this process is called as zero padding process and now we will go for the convolution process we have to rotate the kernel by 180 degrees after that only we have to do the convolution process with the original image after doing that zero padding process so here at the initial position so this is the kernel 157 and here this is the original image and these two are added to this original image by doing that zero padding process and here also two zeros are added so now we have to do the convolution operation so 1 into 0 you will get that result as 0 and 5 into 0 you will get that result as 0 and 7 into 0 you will get that 0 so you have to add the multiplication values so 0 plus 0 plus 0 you will get that the resultant value is 0 and that will be produced at the center pixel so here this is the center pixel for these three values so this is the center pixel so we will assign that 0 value and next we will move this template or this kernel by one step then again we have to do the convolution operation so 1 into 0 plus 5 into 0 plus 7 into 0 so the resultant value you will get it as 0 so that will be assigned to that center pixel so here the for these three values this is the center pixel so we will assign that 0 so again we will move the template by one step and again we have to do that the convolution operation so here 1 into 0 plus 5 into 0 plus 7 into 2 so here you will get that 7 into 2 means 14 plus 0 plus 0 here so the resultant value you will get it as 14 so that will be assigned to that center pixel so for these three values this 0 is the center pixel so that 14 is assigned to this one and after that again you have to move the template to that next position so the next position here we will get that 1 into 0 plus 5 into 2 plus 7 into 0 so 1 into 0 0 plus 5 into 2 10 plus 7 into 0 so the resultant value is 10 so that will be assigned to that center pixel here the value is 10 so like that we have to shift that template from the initial position to last position and now again that we have to shift the template by one step again we have to do the convolution operation so 1 into 2 plus 5 into 0 plus 7 into 0 so here you will get that 2 plus 0 plus 0 you will get that the resultant value is 2 that will be assigned to that center pixel and like that we have to shift that template to that next position so here we have the final position 
so 1 into 0 plus 5 into 0 plus 7 into 0 so you will get that the resultant value as 0 so from the first position to last position you will get that the convolution output as 0 0 14 10 2 0 0 so this is the resultant image when you are doing that convolution operation with the kernel so here the output is produced is 0 further shift crosses that range hence that process is stopped so after this one there is no pixels here so the process will be stopped so this is the uh, final position and the output produced as 0, 0, 14, 10, 2, 0, 0. So the final image by doing the convolution operation is 0, 0, 14, 10, 2, 0, 0. So the main important point here it is when you are doing the convolution operation before that you have to rotate that kernel by 180 degrees and at the same time based on the kernel size you have to add the zeros to that original image that process is called as zero padding process and now we will go for the correlation process so in this correlation process here we are not rotating that kernel so in the problem we are given that the kernel as 751 so the same kernel will be used here in this correlation process but in convolution process here we have to rotate that kernel by 180 degrees and the process which is done in the convolution operation will be the same in correlation process so here we have to do that 7 into 0 plus 5 into 0 plus 1 into 0 so the resultant value will be assigned to that center pixel so it is the value of 0 so like that we have to shift this template and we have to do that correlation process same as that what you have done in that convolution operation so finally you will get that the resultant value as 0 0 2 10 14 0 0 so this is the output image we got when you are doing that correlation operation so this is about that convolution and correlation for 1d image now we will go for that 2d image for convolution operation so here it is the image f this is the original image f given as 2 2 2 2 and the template or mask or kernel it is given as 1 1 1 1 so for this one according to the kernel or mask we have to add the zeros to this original image so this process is called as zero padding process so here it is that this is the original image and we have to align one of the mask value to this original image so here we are aligning that one value of the kernel to this pixel of the original image so according to that we have to add the zeros to this original image so this is the kernel so that is why so for this kernel values 1 1 and 1 we are adding zeros to this original image remember that here we have to rotate that kernel by 180 degrees before doing that convolution operation and now we have to do the convolution operation here so 1 into 0 0 plus 1 into 0 0 plus 2 into 1 2 plus 1 into 0 0 so you will get that 0 plus 0 plus 2 plus 0 the resultant value is 2 so that will be assigned here to this original image at this position and now we have to shift this kernel by one step so here it is the kernel and again you have to do the convolution operation so 1 into 0 plus 2 into 1 plus 2 into 1 plus 1 into 0 so 0 plus 2 plus 2 plus 0 so the resultant value is 4 that will be assigned to this original image at this position so here you got that previously as 2 now we got that as 4 and again you have to shift this kernel by one step and again you do that the same convolution operation so the resultant value is 2 and further shift to the right side there is no pixels so again we will go for the bottom left side so here we have to do the convolution operation and the resultant value you will get it as 4 so like that you have to shift that the kernel or template from top to bottom left to right so when you're doing that from top to bottom and left to right then the resultant final image is 2420 
फोर एट फोर जीरो टू फोर टू जीरो एंड जीरो 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 सो दिस इज द आउटपुट ऑफ द ओरिजिनल इमेज एफ वेन यू आर डूइंग दैट कन्वल्यूशन ऑपरेशन सो द मेन डिफरेंस इज दैट इन द कन्वल्यूशन ऑपरेशन वी हैव टू रोटेट दैट कैनल बाई वन एटी डिग्रीज बट इन कोरिलेशन ऑपरेशन वी विल नॉट रोटेट दैट कैनल बाई वन एटी डिग्रीज जस्ट वी विल अप्लाई द सेम कैनल टू दैट ओरिजिनल इमेज that will be in that correlation operation so thank you very much for watching this video to watch more videos please subscribe to my channel open boxing dedication